Hey guys, so this is my go-to makeup look these days. I have always been wearing a mask when I use the public transport and when I walk along busy roads. Metro Manila is polluted. Because of that, I, I have always had a mask on. But now, it has been a common thing to wear a mask, mostly because of the virus that has been spreading and it's the COVID-19 and because of that, I have noticed that, and this is a reality, this is not being insensitive, that there is a need to actually understand how people like us who are in love with makeup are updating our go-to makeup look. So. I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how I do it, but basically, I've been saving a lot in foundation. I don't have any foundation right now, and the only thing I have would be my Derm Plus sunblock, and that is why I'm awfully white right now. And equally so, because I've been using my Shiseido Baby medicated powder, pressed powder. So this has been my go-to face products right now. and. It is also because if you wear foundation, they just kind of like get wiped off by your face mask. And I've been using washable face masks and I've been using scarves to put them inside the pockets. There's an insert of uh, my face, my reusable face mask has an insert. So I put a scarf and sometimes if I don't feel like doing that and I feel like throwing away the scarf, and replacing it within the day if I know I'm gonna be busy and I'm gonna, gonna be going about. I'm gonna use two scarves and I'm gonna replace this one so that this stays clean. I've also been using lipstick that doesn't smudge and doesn't transfer and I've, I've been loving this and I keep it to the inside of my lip and the rest I feather off at a certain point, sometimes even the Superstay Matte Ink will still have a little bit of transfer, but if you keep it on the insides, on the inner parts of your lips, and then just fed it off towards the edges, it, I notice that it doesn't have any transfer at all. I've also decided to just go on with some eye makeup. This is actually a little bit full on. Usually, I wouldn't have anything underneath and I would just have a flick like a wing tip and just some cream eyeshadow. I've, I've really saved on a lot of makeup these days and I haven't, I've never really used this, this cream eyeshadow from, um, this is actually, I think this is also part of the Pro Palette. Yeah, this is from the Pro Palette and it's the cream. I've never used this. This one, I think, is the most useless color for me, but now I'm drawn to it, and I've been using it a lot, and I just use it on my lids just to brighten it up, and I use a lot of mascara, as always. I think this will be a staple for me. I've vlogged about this mascara, and, and this has been my go-to these days. I still, of course, do my my eyebrows using the Body Shop Gel Liner in brown and just tape, tame it down with this brown eyeshadow pot from the face shop. I cannot, I just cannot let go of the highlights. You can see everything is shimmery in here. I cannot let go of the highlights simply because the highlights for me are just like some high points of your face and they need to be highlighted. My office mate told me that he thinks, and this is a guy talking, he thinks that I'm, I'm chubbier and I told him I didn't change anything, I'm actually losing weight but to be honest, I've never had any contour, I've never had anything. There's no optical illusion anymore, so this is actually the shape of my face and there's nothing we can do about it. And he said, he goes like, you're that good with makeup that you've deceived us all along. And, but that's the reality. Another thing is that the beauty of having a very good skincare ritual and having a found my skincare products and most of which I'm gonna link the cards right here. I've I've found them enough that I've I've been confident with my skin and I've been
for two years now, I noticed that I've been hanging out with my friends completely without makeup on weekends. And now you can see I still have my freckles, I still have my sunspot and some marks. I mean, it's not perfect, but at least, I mean, I'm confident enough to show you guys this side of my skin. And it doesn't worry me anymore. And now that there is a need for me to cut back on the foundation and to actually not use it because it will be basically useless <laughs> it will just be wiped off I noticed that I I am so glad that I have enjoyed my skin and that the freckles it doesn't really bother me so much anymore and all the more that I noticed that I've been using more sunblock now that I know that I don't have any foundation on it, I don't have any barrier so far from the sun, so I think I think it, it's also looking good. The only problem I have is I don't know if if this looks really good with photos. I haven't been taking selfies so much these days because yeah, I've been wearing a lot of face mask in public and there isn't any opportunity recently to actually do selfies. I think that sometimes I do get breakouts so I'm very very particular about replacing the scarf insert or the scarf itself when I use my face mask and the reason why I use my glasses w this doesn't really have anything on. I, I'm, I'm a 2020 so I think I just need this because I'm a short girl and everybody's taller than me so that when talk when they are talking they would have like little splashes when I take the public vehicles I believe that I should have a little bit of like a goggle you know but I mean who wears goggles right I mean I don't want to bother other people so I just have to deceive them by using like fake eyeglasses and pretend that the, the reason is corrective but actually this is for my safety and I also wear a lot of caps and that is also to just kind of like avoid having any spills or any drips from other people if they're talking and they're always taller than me so I need a little bit of a cover to avoid that but overall I've I've been I'm I'm okay. I'm I'm really glad that I'm not bothered anymore that I am in a very secure place right now where I can safely say that this is this is okay and I've been watching a lot of Korean TV and they never really wear any contour anyway this is just me trying to understand that yeah there might be a little bit of artistry that we can have to forego for now but that's okay because at least this is a different look that we are enjoying so I hope that you enjoyed this short tutorial on what I've been doing it's just an updated get ready with me or an updated tutorial on how I do my makeup these days because of the need to wear masks I, I really hope that one day we will have a solution for this or a cure or a vaccine of some sort I am also worried at my end because I am just like everything about me is good but I'm just a weakling when it comes to the common flu, the colds, the cough. A week before time of the month I usually get sick and to me that's a huge concern because my immune system has always been super fluctuating and I needed to ensure that I do get a lot of my um, iron supplements and my vitamin C a week before time of the month because I actually don't need it in any other periods. I really hope that you stay healthy and um, you guys take care. Thanks a lot for watching and hope to see you again soon in my channel. Bye!